Has dieting eroded your self-trust with yourself? <clears throat> Think about it. Hi, this is Amy of Master Stretch, and today I'm going to give you an exercise to help reestablish self-trust with your body. As you may know, I'm a huge fan of intuitive eating. And if you want to learn more, um, be sure to subscribe to my channel by clicking the link that just popped up. And intuitive eating is all about learning to trust yourself around food. Every time you diet, you are telling yourself you are not trusting of yourself, especially if you are put on a diet at a young age. This is even more deeply rooted. Diets tell you what and when to eat, when in fact, our bodies know how to do this already. Trust is broken over and over each time you deny our bodies hunger. This creates doubt and over time confusion. Have you ever been told that you cannot trust, your body cannot be trusted? Think about it. Were you ever told as a kid you had to clean your plate even though you were already full? Have you been told you weren't allowed to have sweets even though you were craving them? Every time you ignore these intuitive signals, you are silencing the ability to hear these signals, the hunger cues, the fullness cues, and it erodes self-trust in yourself. And then how many times have you said something like, chips are my weakness, that you can't just eat one cookie, I'll eat them all. Like you just don't trust yourself around food but you can start to rebuild that trust. And here's how. Notice your body at work. Noticing is a powerful practice. So let's try it. Find a quiet spot, sit for a few minutes, and just notice your body breathing. Place your awareness on your lungs. Notice your breath coming in, the breath going out. Notice that you can control your breathing if you wish. And contemplate, how does your body know how to breathe? It's intuitive. Hunger is also noticeable. You just have to become aware, aware of it. Your body knows when you need food and your body knows when to stop eating. We just have to notice it, reconnect, and trust ourselves again. Think about it. Think about this. You know when your bladder is getting full, right? You can choose when to pee. Contemplate. How does your body know how to pee? Like it just knows how to do it. And if you trust yourself to, to know when to pee, then you should trust yourself to know when you're hungry and when you're getting full. It's your body. It knows how to work. <laughs> it knows how to do these things. So repeating this exercise, getting curious and noticing your body helps cultivate awareness of your working body and helps build connection, confidence, and trust that your body knows how to regulate itself, including knowing when it needs to eat and when to stop eating. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you'd like to learn more about intuitive eating, check out this intuitive eating principles playlist. You're going to go through the 10 principles of uh, intuitive eating and you click the link that just popped up. And if you really want to dive into intuitive eating, you're like, hey, this is cool. I like this. It, it's resonating with me. Check out my 21 day intuitive eating journey, transform food guilt to self-trust. And you can get access to that by clicking the link that just popped up. Thank you so much for watching. Again, this is Amy of Master Stretch. And until next time, bye for now.